certainly seems the only thing that's consistently going up these days is the price of oil. And you know what that means. Sky high prices at the pump. Welcome back to Eyewitness News at 11.30. I'm Philip Palmer. And I'm Giovanna Lotta. Oil futures shot up to a new record today at nearly $143 a barrel. And some analysts speculate gas prices will continue to climb at a record-breaking pace if this trend continues. Here's how they look today. In the L.A. Long Beach area, regular uh, unleaded costs 4.61 a gallon. It is 4.58 a gallon in Orange County. In the Inland Empire, it is 4.59 a gallon, and it is 4.61 a gallon in Orange, uh, or uh, rather in Ventura County. Eyewitness News reporter Sugar Ravindran is live in L.A., where drivers at one station are paying nearly five dollars a gallon for regular unleaded. Shuba. That's right, Giovanna. We're actually at one of the more pricier gas stations in Los Angeles right now. This is a mobile station, and unleaded costs about four dollars and ninety-nine cents here. This is a mobile station off of La Cienega and Beverly. Now, the good news is that uh, most gas stations throughout Southern California have been keeping their gas prices pretty steady over the last several weeks, but that could change. Prices could soon be going up now that OPEC has come out with some new predictions about the future price of oil. With gas prices already sitting at $5 a gallon these days, some drivers can't help but wonder how much worse can it get. They say something about up to close to $7 per gallon by the end of the summer or something? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Higher prices may not be that far off. Yesterday, the president of OPEC predicted the price of crude oil to hit a record high of $150 to $170 a barrel by the end of the summer. Libya then announced they would cut oil production this year. Local consumer advocate Jamie Court says all the speculation on oil will affect prices the pump and there's nothing we can do about it. It's all speculative craziness. It's just like uh, during the energy crisis in California. You know, look, Enron knew it had the state over a barrel and could charge outrageous prices for energy. ExxonMobil knows it has California and the rest of the nation over a barrel and it's going to keep charging as much as it can. Already today, oil futures spiked to $142 a barrel in overnight trading. Today, drivers we spoke to say they can't take any more gas price increases. I just gave $10 to the gas pump. Why? Because I'm a college student myself and I can't afford it. So I got to pay for my books, I got to pay for my supplies. I just don't know how people could fill up their tank. I just spent $100 here and, um, and that's just because my mobile card cut me off. So how much will prices go up? Experts say only time will tell. My guess, though, is as you get past Labor Day, not just because driving decreases, but because we get into the presidential election, you're going to see these prices come down. Because if we have $5 gasoline in October, you can bet it's going to be front and center in the presidential debate, and you bet oil companies don't want that to happen. Now, today, OPEC made another prediction about the price of oil, saying it could reach $180 a barrel by the end of the year. One investment firm says that means that the price of gas could reach about $7 a gallon in about two years. We are live in Los Angeles. Shubha Ravindran, ABC7 Eyewitness News.